That's going to make it into the story, too. <laughs> the two people you need to meet in this story are Vicki Brown and Christy Peavy House. I don't see any red lights. We're good. We're good. Who admit they're a little nervous about this whole TV interview thing. He is going to take this back to the station, and he is going to say, y'all got to see these people that I interviewed today. But Vicki's dog, Eleanor, showed us there's no reason. Ella, that's funny. Ella Grace. Yeah, she'll be the close-up. To be nervous at all. Ella Grace. Ella. Come here. Their story, however, actually starts with a cat, Garfield, on a Christmas card. They were neighbors in Abbott, Texas. At the time, I was really big into sending cards and everything. And, and Vicki yeah. sent this Christmas card through the post office to Christie's house just a few blocks away. It says, Merry Christmas to a good-looking, intelligent, all-around marvelous person. Save this card. You can send it to me. And next Christmas, she did exactly what the Christmas card told her to do. So Garfield's annual journey through the U.S. postal system began. The women who realized they could have just walked the card to each other's house, signed it each year and sent it back and forth each Christmas through the mail instead. We've always signed our first name and the last initial. I don't know why. It's not like we don't know who the card is from. But oh, no. Did you know any other Vicky? Well, you I knew Vicky. You knew. I, I yeah, did know you several did know Vicky. Exactly. So and Garfield's annual trip continued when Vicky moved away from Abbott all the way to Hillsboro, eight miles away. I know, it's kind of a... It's, it's like a tradition. It's like a tradition yes. now, exactly. Like a tradition and, now. Yeah. It's the only Christmas card, I think, that I still send. This year um, was the card's 25th Christmas trip. I enjoy getting it. I do, now. too. I, I do, too, because to every once in a while, I just kind mm -hmm. of forget about it, and then it shows up, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah. it's the card. So that is something that we can look forward to. We know it's going to come every year, <laughs> hopefully. No matter what, we still, no matter matter what. What. we still have one friend. We still have one friend, yeah. <laughs> and that's but. the simple message of enduring friendship and the story of a slightly tattered and worn Christmas card that for 25 years, the U.S. Postal Service has not lost. I mean, we're very blessed and thankful that mm -hmm. we're both still here and able to send it back and forth. And I think nobody nobody yeah. wants to be the one to stop. Nope. Or I guess the no. I don't want to jinx it, but if the post office loses it, I guess that would <laughs> then that'll stop it. I guess. wouldn't. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I guess if it keeps if it quits coming in the mail, I'll know you don't like me. You're anymore. not getting it next year. Remember what happened last year? <laughs> yeah. This year, the card successfully made it to Vicky's house in Hillsboro, where she will keep it locked away until next December. Sign it and send it back to Christy in Abbott again. The cards, you know, kind of kept us tied together. Right. All these years. Exactly. But it's, yeah, it's just a, it's just a special kind of thing. A special kind of thing for two good-looking, intelligent, and all-around marvelous people. Where are we going to start signing it, though? Keeping Christmas traditions and a quarter-century friendship alive. We are going to run out of, of room eventually. Maybe should have signed a little smaller. In Hillsboro, Texas, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.